uh, there's massive disruption to our operations as a result of activities of bandits and criminals along our pipelines in the Niger Delta area. Uh, this has brought down our production to levels as low as we have never seen before. Uh, today we are being less than 1.5 million barrels per day simply because uh, uh, some uh, criminals uh, decided that uh, they should have some infractions on the pipeline. And that clearly is the biggest form of business disruption that we are facing today and this kind of engagement, the certification that we have today around our system and process should be able to respond to this and part of the response is to bring in the best framework possible to contain this situation. And I'm happy to, to tell us all here that uh, enormous work is going on between us and relevant government security agencies, our partners, uh, uh, particularly those on the corridors that are impacted, and also the community members. And I'm very, very optimistic that within the next uh, two to three weeks, it's very, very measurable outcomes will come up. Which is uh, clearly uh, impacted by the energy transition journey, our company will be will, will fully a camera company today, will transit fully by the 1st of July, uh, so that uh, we're now an entirely different company uh, that will be governed by the provisions of the Community and Allied Matters Act, Act and also the Petroleum Industry Act, and all other legislations that are uh, applicable to every other company that is operating in this space.